Welcome to the Bullseye. I'm Paul Peck, radio voice of Buffalo Bulls football, bringing you this week's edition of the Bullseye from Husky Stadium at Northern Illinois University. The Bulls came in here looking to pull off an upset against one of the best teams in the Mid-American Conference, but couldn't do it because they just didn't make enough plays and they made too many mistakes. And for head coach Jeff Quinn, he called that unacceptable. You know, when you go three and out, I don't know where we were, but it just didn't pay off, you know, in terms of what we were trying to accomplish. I mean, we were uh, just being three and out was just unacceptable. I mean, we couldn't get any rhythm going at all. Also on this week's edition of the Bullseye, we'll talk with TJ, Bulls wide receiver Terrell Jackson. Because you, you watch guys like Reggie Bush, you watch guys like Deshaun Jackson. Uh, I mean, who doesn't see what those guys do? And as a competitor, um, I'm feeling like, Let's go get him. I mean, I can do what he does. We'll spend some time with UB men's swimming coach Andy Basher, whose team is coming off a very big win over Pittsburgh. And those guys really deserved it. They're looking for it. And to beat a Big East team and one of the better Big East teams at their, uh, at their place is you know, something that we're very proud of. I'm now joined by Bulls radio color analyst Jim Kubiak. Jim, this was a tough game for the Buffalo Bulls. I think they came in here feeling like they could play with Northern Illinois, which is maybe the best team in the Mid-American Conference. But when you make too many mistakes and sometimes you make it too easy for the other team, that's when you walk out of here with a loss. Well, certainly made too many mistakes, especially early in the game. Turning the football over, you don't give yourself a chance to win. And you know, defensively, I thought Buffalo did a, a nice job of hanging with this Northern Illinois offense who ran the ball so well throughout the first part of this year. So uh, too many mistakes on the road, not enough execution, and, you know, it ends up a loss. Highlight for the defense was the touchdown, their first defensive score of the game, a Khalil Mack sack, a Jerry Housie tip, and Gordon Dubois described scoring that touchdown as pretty cool. I heard that, pretty cool, and <laughs> I liked it. Uh, you know, what can you say about the defense? But they've done just a masterful job of of reining in some of these very dynamic offenses, and you know, a little too much uh, towards the end of the game where Northern Illinois really established the line of scrimmage. And but they were on the field a long time, so I think there's some good things that Buffalo pulls from this game. They played a very good opponent. They played a team that Coach Quinn said would probably be in Detroit in the MAC championship game. So on the road. Uh, you know, I think Buffalo has some work to do, but there's some definitely some good things they can pull from this football game. Well, quarterback Jerry Davis certainly has some work to do also. He struggled. My question for you as a former quarterback, how do you shake off what was a pretty struggling afternoon for a quarterback? Well, it hurts. Uh, you know, when you're, when you're the quarterback, when you're the guy, it all rests on your shoulders. And, and when things are going well, you're the most popular guy. And when things aren't going well, you're the guy that, that shoulders a lot of the burden. And, and that's what you signed up for as a quarterback. And, I, and I'm sure it hurts. And what you have to do is, is turn that hurt into, into fire so that you can then go back and, and correct some of the mistakes. And, and nobody feels is worse than Jerry Davis right now. And, and he's, gonna, he's a competitor. He's a guy that's going to get back in the film room. He's going to get back to practice. And uh, that's all you can do as a player. Take care of what your job and your responsibilities are. Well, Jeff Quinn said he's going to evaluate the quarterback position as he goes through the week, but he gets a chance to finally have seen Alex Zordich, the freshman. How valuable for Alex Zordich was it to come in and play a couple of series and find out what it's like to be on a college football field? Well, when you're a high school kid being recruited, you always dream about those first moments that you take the field as a Division One player. And, and Alex Zordich did that tonight, and he did a nice job. He, he had a nice drive. He runs the ball well. He's a big physical guy. And, and I think it's very important. You, you never know what can happen later on in the year. And to have that experience, I think, is invaluable. Well, work to do for the Bulls because another tough opponent is coming into town. The Temple Owls come to UB Stadium. The Bulls finally back home. That game comes up on Saturday. We couldn't get any rhythm going at all. Um, you know, and when we did, we put the ball on the ground. And if we had a punt, we got a punt blocked. And if we did, you know, somebody missed an assignment. Something else happened, you know, we had some foolish penalties and some special teams. You know, these are the things that just, you know, uh, irritate and aggravate you as a coach. You work too hard, you expect your kids to perform uh, to their very best, and, you know, we weren't able to do that today. So uh, we need a lot of practice is what we need. Just continue work, and everybody's getting looked at on the team. We obviously want to win, so we all just need to uh, continue to work and, and uh, realize that we do have a great football team. We're just really hurting ourselves right now. We had we was in the driver's seat. We was undefeated in Mac play, and now uh, we came into a, a hostile environment with a good team, and we could have played with them. We got the talent, we got the uh, the scheme, we got the plan to to beat the team, and we just didn't. This is a Northern Illinois team that beat Minnesota, beat. 
um, Temple, who beat UConn. Uh, they've got some signature wins under their belt, and it's you can tell that they play with a lot of confidence. They believe in things, and you know and that's where we want to be. Uh, we need to learn from our experiences and to get to where where Northern is right now, so we can come and play against a good quality opponent like them and, and put this thing down to the last few seconds, because that's what I wanted to, to accomplish. I wanted to be in the, the last few minutes in this ball game, and it just it, we weren't able to do that. We try to use everything that we. That happens to us as a, a positive thing. So if the offense is struggling, we use that as a positive thing where, where we need to uh, step up and motivate them and show that we are a good defense. And I mean, unfortunately, that didn't happen today in the second half. We just wasn't into the offense, you know. We, we didn't execute the way we should. I mean, our game plan was there. We just didn't execute. And um, we just have to, we have to go back to the um, drawing board and, and see what works and, you know, get the personnel right. And, and do the jobs that we're capable of doing. Certainly, uh, nobody's guaranteed a spot unless they earn it, and that's what I tell kids. Look, you want to be a starter? Compete, perform, and prepare like a starter. Then you become the starter. You know, we're going to play the best players, give us the best chance to win. And I'm going to look at every single position, and um, every player knows that from me. They know that I, um, I evaluate kids every single day. We're looking at every guy um, in terms of personnel. And uh, whoever gives us the best chance of being successful and gives us the best chance of win is going to be that guy. Myself and other leaders, we got to be able to get our mindset focused back on track to where we want to be and uh, just get ready for Temple. I mean, cause, I mean, we lost, we got to get over it. I mean, we got a lot of season left. We got with six MAC games left. It's time to uh, man up.